Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go out to the chocolatey.org website. and install the package. And to do that, you just simply copy this PowerShell command. And then we want to launch an admin command prompt. And on Windows 10, it's as simple as typing in CMD and right clicking and running as administrator. And then we're just going to paste that there, press enter, and Chocolatey will begin to install. Okay, so that we, we've got Chocolatey installed now, and we need to close the admin command prompt window, and we need to reopen it so that we can actually use Chocolatey. So I'm just relaunching it from the start menu uh, when the administrator writes. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over to the Chocolatey package catalog. You can get to it from the chocolatey.org website and clicking on packages. And from here, you'll want to go through and choose which packages that you want to install. As you can see, they've got you know a lot of things that you're probably already familiar with. Uh, what I would recommend doing is uh, starting a notepad and as you find applications that you would like to install, add it to your list of applications here. Uh, so what you want to do is type Choco, Choco install and then you'll start adding package names in here. So for example, uh, let's do Google Chrome. So you just really need the last part of that. And we're going to paste that in there. Put a space. And you know what? I want Mozilla Firefox too. Okay, and then what else? Notepad++ is fantastic. So let's do that. Oh, what else? Oh, VLC, gotta have VLC. And at the end of this, I always like to add a minus Y. This just basically says, yes, I agree to all of the license terms, proceed with the installation. And you can keep adding applications in here if you find multiple and just copy this, take it to the admin command prompt right click and paste press enter and it will go out to the chocolatey.org website and pull those packages down and begin to install them on the computer now if you did not use the minus y there at the end you would be prompted to accept the license agreement for each of the packages and as you can see it's downloading the package downloading the installer uh, using PowerShell and then once it gets the package downloaded it will start to install these applications that you have specified. What I would recommend doing with this line is let's say you have you know a lot of applications that you need to install onto your computer. Save this somewhere on your computer. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. I'm just going to call it Choco Installs. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. And let's say, for example, this computer crashes. You could come back to this command and just paste it into an admin command prompt window after you have installed Chocolatey, and you would be up and running in a much shorter time than it would take to download and install uh, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, VLC, if you had to go out and download each one of those packages manually and install it. And as you can see, it says here that it has finished installing all of the applications above, and you can usually see them on the start menu. Uh, for example, there's VLC Media Player in the first pop-up, and Firefox, 
I won't launch it because it will take it a while to launch since this is a virtual machine. And of course it pokes the shortcuts on the desktop as well. So the next thing I want to show you is let's say for example, you want to install an older version of something. And the best one of the examples I had in the article that I'm writing is Audacity. So let's look for Audacity, which is an audio recorder. And then we've got Audacity 2.12. But when you go in here, you can see that there are different versions. And let's say for some reason you need Audacity 2.05. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you can take this command into your admin command prompt, paste it. I'm going to go ahead and say minus Y. And it will install that version of Audacity for you. All right. And as you can see, it just finished the installer. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is that it did pop up an actual window saying that it was installing Audacity with a progress bar. Some applications will do that. Some will be completely silent and you won't see anything but the command prompt. All right, so now that you've got the older version of Audacity installed, you've been using it, and you decide, all right, you know what? I want to go ahead and upgrade to the newer version. You can go into the command line, again, an admin command prompt window, and you'll type in Chaco upgrade Audacity and minus Y. And it's telling you here that you have version 2.0.5 installed, version 2.1.2 is available and it will begin to download and install that update for you. With security in mind, it's always a good idea to upgrade all of the software on your computer. And it's very easy to do with Chocolaty. All you have to do, of course, is have an admin command prompt window open and issue the command Chaco upgrade all and I'm going to say the minus y again as well and it will come back with a report of everything that is installed and everything that needs to be updated and if it needs to be updated it will start downloading and installing the update for you occasionally you will install an application and ask where in the world did it go? Uh, for example, I just installed Putty and it's not on the start menu. I'm still not seeing it here. Okay, well, let's try again. Go to all apps and let's click on the P. Um, it's not there. It's not on the start menu. Well, what happens a lot of times is you'll install an application, but it will install the portable version. And since portable versions don't need uh, to be installed, it's not going to create the shortcut in the standard locations. So you can either search for it, for example, just type in putty, and usually with Windows 10, it'll find it. And there it is, of course. Or you can go to the locations where Chocolatey installs programs to, and there's a couple of directories you can look in. You can look in the bin directory, which is in C, Program Data, Chocolatey Bin, and you'll see a shortcut for Putty right there, and you can uh, launch it, use it as you normally would. You can send a shortcut to your desktop or wherever and use it from there. Another location that you might want to look is in C program data chocolatey live and of course you've got the putty and the putty portable folder there at some point you're going to want to see a list of all of the applications that you have installed onto your computer using chocolatey so let's go back to our admin command prompt window and you just simply type in choco list minus l 
It'll take it a couple of moments, but it will list all of the applications that you have installed via Chocolaty. While Choco is fantastic for installing applications, it's not so great at uninstalling applications. Let me demonstrate. So let's go back to our admin command prompt. And let's say, for example, we want to uninstall Firefox. So we would issue the command Choco uninstall Firefox. Okay, so it says that it's uninstalled Firefox, but I still see it on my desktop. And I'm double clicking on it and it's trying to launch. So obviously it hasn't uninstalled. What has actually happened is that it has removed the package from the chocolatey list of installed applications. Let me show you. So as you can see, you no longer see Firefox in this list as we saw it up here earlier. The reason that Firefox was only removed from the list of installed applications and not actually removed from the computer itself is because the package maintainer for Firefox did not include an uninstall script. Um, as you can see with the Atom package, you can see an uninstall package listed here as well as an install package. So Atom is one of the applications that you can run the uninstall command and it will actually uninstall it from the list of locally installed applications listed in Chocolaty as well as actually remove the program from the computer. And as you can see, it's completed the uninstall and it's removed the icon from the desktop. It's not on the start menu anymore. For the most part, I would recommend that you use the Windows control panel and use the programs and features to actually uninstall applications. For instance, you know, Firefox, run the uninstall, and you get this pop-up asking if you want to complete the wizard for uninstalling Firefox. You can do something similar with Chocolaty, uh, but what you have to do is you need to enable a feature called Auto Uninstaller. And you do that by issuing the command Choco Feature Enable in, or excuse me, minus n equals auto capital U uninstaller. Press enter. And then you can do Choco uninstall Firefox, at which point you should be prompted with the standard uninstall wizard. And I'm going to say one because I didn't issue the minus y. And here, as I said, you will be presented with the standard uninstall screen. If it has an uninstall script, it'll go ahead and run it silently, which is the preferred method. But for applications such as Firefox that do not have a script for uninstalling it, you will be prompted with the standard uninstall wizard.